was a big injury. Hey, the same way I was saying 42, 42 Doug can talk tough on the records, but he got to go to jail and it might be a little bit different because of his size. <laughs> you squabble up. You 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 volunteered to go do a DP with Big U and you tell me how that turned out for you. Big U going to beat this shit. It's shit out of one of y'all that happens. DJ Bam 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 DJ Bam Bam Black. Donnie Grams. You already knew that though. Hey yo Donnie, listen this time around. We ain't being humble. We just gotta get better. It's your time. Talk your talk. You already know I got your back. Incarceration. DJ Band in the black. Donnie Graham, who fucking with that? Best if he don't say shit Cops giving food for niggas statements And you giving them views Hit the playlist It's rules of the engagement Watching where he moving Where the pay went Shit we got these bruises From the pavement They cuff us at the station That's where niggas Really learn patience I watch real niggas Turn to agents I see them They don't say shit They don't want to smoke Like the vaping Burn the house with bodies In the basement DJ Bandana Hold on, hold on, hold on You said burn the house With bodies in the basement That's what we doing? All right, check this, right? Real quick disclaimer, real quick disclaimer, so I know if this video is for you, right? If you're the type of person that we go out to eat, you ask me to pass you the salt and pepper, and I pass you the salt and pepper, and you proceed to sprinkle the salt before you sprinkle the pepper, this video is probably not for you. Everybody know normal human beings sprinkle the pepper first, and then you sprinkle the salt. This video is probably not for you. And if you're the type of person that make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and you don't use two spoons, this video is probably not for you. I hate you people use one spoon for the peanut butter and the jelly, and I go to make a sandwich after you, and now it's all peanut butter all inside the jelly, or jelly all inside the peanut butter. I, you know what? This video ain't for you. Life ain't for you guys. This video is probably not for you. And last but not least, if you're the type of person that builds up enough courage to shoot your shot and it lands and you have no idea what to do, this video is probably not, you know what, this video might not be for me. Listen, all jokes aside, I'm not saying I was shooting my shot, but I mean, I am single right now, but listen, right? So it's this young lady on Facebook that's actually light-skinned. It's crazy because she's light-skinned. But anyways, um, I don't think I'm too old to have a crush. I don't think I had a crush on her. But anyways, I like the way this young lady looked and I would, wanted to try to be her friend. Well, anyways, I kind of shot my shot at her, right? And I was thinking that I was going to get shut down and she was going to like just screenshot it like, oh, he's trying to be in my DMs like that. But she actually gave me her phone number and told me to call her sometimes and I had no idea what to do. So I looked her up on Cash App and I sent her money for, her, I think, breakfast or lunch. But we'll see how that turns out. Anyways, these disclaimers had absolutely nothing to do with this video, but let's get started. DJ Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man. Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music. You know, for Buffalo, man, we that was the only DJ we really had. You know what I'm saying? And um, he always showed love, man. He always been a fan, you know, since day one. I knew him before. I, I knew him before he was even Bandana Black. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like when he when he became, you know, on the radio, uh, a radio DJ, man. He just always showed love, man. So, you know, definitely shout out to Bandana Black. Yeah, what Eve will you Bandana Black? DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Hey, what's going on? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. First off, first off, this is your first time on my channel. Um, welcome to the Bandana Fam. You now tied in with DJ Bandana Black and the Bandana Fam. Um, salute. Shout out to everybody who's been holding down the videos before. Um, if you ever heard me on radio, maybe I came to your city, DJ the concert or something like that. Like I said, I am a real DJ in real life. I appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that share button. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I forgot what I was about to say. This, that intro had kind of threw me off. I was just thinking about a certain part of that. That intro was funny as hell. Like I had no idea that was actually going to. I really thought I was going to get blocked, but I had no idea she was actually going to give me the number. And it was the real number. But we're going to see how that turns out. But anyways, listen. Uh, I don't know why I'm feeling good. You know why I'm feeling good today? I'm going to show you why I'm feeling good today. Actually, uh, for the first time ever. So you guys know what a vision board is, right? So a vision board is something that you basically write down a bunch of stuff. Uh, goals that you want to reach for the uh, for the new year. For one of my goals was to this is gonna sound crazy, but one of my goals was to be able to make gravy from scratch. Look what I did today. It was delicious. But you know I made the cube steak with the um, cube steak with the mashed potatoes and the gravy was pretty good. Um, but listen, big you right? Y'all 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 tripping with this uh, with this big you situation right? I'm letting y'all know now. This is the reason why I said in the beginning we had to leave this whole whack 100. Uh, west coast situation alone now on a serious note the reason why i want to do a funny intro on this video is because what i'm about to talk about is about to be uh kind of serious uh, i'm being a serious note here um so by now you guys know this whole thing came out with Sarah campbell whack 100 uh nipsey hustle and all that now 
looking at all of this, when you look at the, the, the ultimate like outcome of all this, the only person that gets hurt at the end of this is Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle legacy, Nipsey Hussle reputation, all of that. So Hassan Campbell doing this doesn't really hurt anybody. It makes it makes WAP 100 look better. It makes Big U get more respect than what WAC 100 has. And it kind of makes Hassan Campbell look like a cop. And the fact that he's trying to tear down Nipsey Hussle because Nipsey Hussle died years ago, right? Nipsey Hussle passed away years ago. For those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, basically, long story short, allegedly there's a video of Nipsey Hussle doing some compromising activities that WAC 100 had. And allegedly, Big U knew about it, but didn't block it or something like that. I don't know. But the reason why I try to say stay away from these things is because what WAC 100 does is, is, is a dangerous game of, for example, being a, vlog, being a vlogger, right? Being like a YouTuber, right? You can talk about any topic. You can do whatever you want. I talk about anything I want to talk about anyways because I just I, I am who I am. But when you're dealing with a person that's whack 100 who represents more than one thing, he makes it to where it's just not it's just not fair, right? It's just not fair. So let, let me let me just get right. I'm beating around the bush. This big you situation, right? Nothing that Hassan Campbell has put out so far or whack 100 has put out so far um, up until this point has shown or proved that Big U has done anything wrong or illegal. Anything wrong or illegal. Is it something that the fans may not like? Yes. Is it something that the fans may not understand? Yes. Now, everything I'm going to say in this video is hypothetically, right? Now, before, only reason I'm doing this video is because I don't want to see you guys, Big U has done a lot of things um, positive for a lot of people that I even know personally. Um, regardless of what he done in the past, regardless of what he does outside of the camera, I know personally Big U has done some positive things Um in, in, in my community, as far as New York in general. WAC 100, I don't really know. Academics, hell no. Um, and, and and I hate to see a, a man be tore, tore down or uh, made guilty um, without any proof. If you look at basically anything that Hassan Campbell said, right? Look at the uh, the interview that Hassan Campbell did after the fact, what I believe it was like Math Hoffa, where they're like inside like the little barbershop, whatever like that. Every question that they asked Hassan Campbell as far as uh, Big U um, was concerned with the Nipsey Hussle thing, he said... I'm not sure. I don't really know. But see, that's a bad man. Or see, he, he's a grimy individual. See, I got a powerful voice. And this is my problem with Hassan Campbell. It's not the fact that he has a powerful voice. It's not that. People think he uses it as an excuse to deter from the fact that people like me who give y'all the truth. It's not the fact that he has a powerful voice. It's not the fact that he has money. It's not the fact that he gets views. It's not the fact that y'all niggas empty out y'all pockets for this fraud. It's not that. It's the fact that he has a powerful voice that goes out to a lot of weak-minded people who can't think for themselves. And I'm not saying everybody. This is for the people who blindly listen to what this man is saying. So if you listen to that same interview, when he asked him about the 30%, because this is a big thing of Big U trying to steal 30% from Nipsey Hussle. This is what Hassan Campbell was saying. He was trying to steal it from him. He, he presented it as they tried to backdoor Nipsey Hussle family and steal 30% from him. But then after the fact, once Hassan started getting scared and realizing that, nigga, your life might be in danger too, then he started telling the truth and saying, well, you know what? No, he didn't say that. Um, and I don't know what he meant by that, or I don't know what he what he said by that, or I don't know the thirty percent. But you got to just understand, he's a bad dude. See, that's where you go putting your feelings into it. That's the problem with Sonic. It's not that you have a, a a big following. It's the fact that you mix your feelings with facts and give it to your large following. So you'll skip over the fact that you have no facts about what you said about that thirty percent. But your feeling is that he's a bad person. So then you put that out in the out there in the world, that industry, and then people start believing that about Big U. Nothing in that video said anything bad. Maybe I missed a part about part of it or something like that. But nothing in that video about um Big U and Nipsey Hustle situation turns out bad. Now let me give you guys the harsh reality, right? About this Nipsey Hustle uh Big U situation, how the industry works in general, um, and Nipsey Hustle situation. Now this is gonna sound really messed up. But again, this is hypothetically, allegedly, right? So, realistically, right? If if Big U owned thirty, if Big U was owed thirty percent of Nipsey Hussle, right? The thirty percent that he was owed, Nipsey Hussle thirty percent when he was alive is not worth the same Nipsey Hussle thirty percent when he was dead. Nipsey Hussle thirty percent when he was dead is worth way more than when he was alive. So when people say why Big U didn't go after the thirty percent while he was alive, because thirty percent. Of a hundred thousand, you might walk away from thirty percent of twenty, thirty million. You're not gonna walk away from. You, you, you see what I'm saying? So even if Big U, so remember when they were saying how Big U and Nipsey Hussle had like an issue or had a dispute? They had basically a beef um, prior to him passing. Not a beef to where they were shooting at each other, but a beef to where they had a disagreement, right? 
Maybe that disagreement was that 30%. Maybe Nipsey was trying to buy himself out of his contract to where he doesn't owe anybody 30%. Maybe he was trying to give him a certain amount of money and he owns 100%. And maybe Big U was like, no, um, we, we'll just drag this out and I'll just wait for my 30%. And then maybe just, unfortunately, Nipsey Hussle passed away. Nipsey Hussle passes away. Big U looking at the 30% of 100,000 turns into a 30% of 200,000 turns into 30% of 5 million turns into 30% of 10 million. And you sitting back at all the money so that you invested. If I was Big U, I would want that money too. That's not saying that there's nothing wrong with that. If, if we wouldn't know Nipsey Hussle if it wasn't for Big U. Honestly, unfortunately, I hate to say that, but we would not. California, LA, that side of the map may know Nipsey Hussle, but as far as where I'm at, Buffalo, New York, without Big U, we would not know who Nipsey Hussle is or we would not know who he is. Um, this soon in, into the game so when people say well what has big you done for nipsey hustle to, to to own 30 percent we don't know what their business situation is we don't know what they're outside of business nipsey hustle is part of a gang he's a gang member you guys keep forgetting that part he's a fucking gang member he's a gang member with rules and obligations to that gang um, so outside of what we may feel with a uh, 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 entertainment contract or what big you or whatever is it, if you in a gang, your big homie say, I'm taking 100%, what you going to do? You, you see what I'm saying? So it's different. It's not saying that it's not fair or whatever like that too. But one of the things that, that, that had me cracking up, which was funny, right? That Somebody actually did a video about this, about Big U getting a DP over this whole WAC 100 and um, Hassan Campbell situation, right? So Big U, middle of an alley, bunch of guys, DP over the situation. Let me just ask you guys this. Before we even say whether this is true or false, right? Because you guys should know. Just off of the, the common sense. You know, the things that I'll be saying that people who follow Hassan Campbell don't have common sense, right? Now, Big U, gang member, big gang member, high-level gang member, right? So, all gang members shit aside, right? Are you physically going into the hallway? Are you going into an alleyway with Big U? You tell me that. So, say you in the gang, right? You in the gang, your big homie call you. Prime example, say say I'm in the gang, my big homie called me. Yo, bandana black, yo, um... Big U, man, he, he fucked up. We, we, we got You and three of the homies got to give Big U a DP. Y'all got to jump this nigga. You ever seen the size of Big U? Niggas is not willingly going to shoot a DP with, with Big U. Besides the fact of, I don't, I'm not in a gang. I'm not part of the rolling 60s or anything. I'm not associated with anything outside of Buffalo, New York, right? I don't think that's how that thing works. I don't think that Hassan Campbell just puts up a blog, whack 100 does whatever whack shit that he's doing, and then that just automatically means that uh, Big U gets a, a, a DP. Besides the fact that this shit happened years ago, so something was going to happen to him. He's been freely walking around L.A., walking around the 60s, doing what he's doing, what he what he does as he should, and nobody had a problem with it until it's time Campbell decided to to put that out and whack 100 in his whole situation. Now, what we should learn from the situation is this, right? Until we have solid proof, or until Sean Campbell or whack 100 can show us something that actually. Big U did that was wrong. Not something that we don't like, but something that he did that was wrong. I think respectfully we should leave Big U out of this. He hasn't been part of this whole YouTube clubhouse thing. That's been academics. That's been whack 100. That's been me. That's been everybody else. But let Big U stand on what Big U stand on. And at the day, I don't have a dog in the fight at all. I don't know Big U. I don't know whack 100. Hell, my favorite color is red. But I respect. I respect Big U. I used to have respect for for, for whack 100. But it's just certain things that it's certain codes and morals that. I, that we both supposed to be standing on that he's not standing on and I can't respect at the end of the day so I don't, I don't really have I don't have anything bad to say about WAC 100 but I don't have anything good to say about him either um, that's what I got to say about that but as far as Big U getting a DP honestly I don't know how that situation happens but I don't think too many niggas willingly fist too many niggas not willingly doing anything against uh, Big U and I'm not saying that to be scared of him but it's a big ass nigga. The same way I was saying, forty two, forty two. Doug can talk tough on them records, but he got to go to jail, and it might be a little bit different because of his size. <laughs> you squabble up, you 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 volunteer to go do a DP with Big U, and you tell me how that turned out for you. Big U gonna beat the shit out of one of y'all if that happens. But anyways, DJ Band in the Black, Mr. Well Connected, more respected, Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. I'm out. DJ Band in the Black, Donnie Grams. You already knew that though. Yo, Donnie, listen, this time around, we ain't being humble. We just gotta get better. It's your time. Talk your talk. You already know I got your back. Incarceration. DJ Band in the Black. Donnie Graham, who fucking with that? It's best.
if he don't say shit Cops giving food for niggas statements And you giving them views, hit the playlist It's rules of the engagement Watching where he moving, where the pay went Shit, we got these bruises from the pavement They cuff us at the station That's where niggas really learn patience I watch real niggas turn to agents I see them, they don't say shit They don't want to smoke like the vaping Burn the house with bodies in the basement DJ Yo, you driving, I'm riding. Donnie Graham's DJ Ben Ben Ben.